Hi, my name is DJ Gigla. Welcome to Bookstop Brixton Mix. And I'm here with Black Navy. Hello, guys. How are you doing? <laughs> no, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, yeah? Fantastic. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, guys, it's very hard to find information on you. I'm like you're hiding <laughs> or something like that. What's going on? It's the sniper, sniper gang. Yeah, nah, nah, nah I've been just chilling in it. So, uh, yeah, I, I think, um, honestly, it's just... Uh, the fact that I, I, I'm always home and all stuff, so I don't usually post a lot to you. That's that's the whole thing. That is why I'm hard to get sometimes. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's it. Oh no, that's crazy, man. Anyway, let's start off with top five producers. Hit me. Top five producers. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> off like that, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> all right. Ah, uh, shit. I, I won't lie. My top number one. Yeah, I I, I gotta give it to um. Obviously, Cubs are the small, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Yeah. Big shout out to that one. Yeah, so, um, number two, uh, there's this new guy, uh, XDP, online. Oh, yeah. Called, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen his called, name on a yeah, few yeah, tunes, yeah. yeah. He's called, and, um, uh, my number three, I gotta give it to Kelvin Momo because I, I, fuck, I oh, am I allowed it's to It's okay, cast? it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna bleed yeah, you out. Yeah, I just gonna hear me. Kelvin Momo one lie too. Kelvin yeah. Momo is hot, yeah. And um, I don't know if everyone knows this guy, but he actually did the log drum. He he discovered the log drum. Ndu. Ndu. Yeah. I love Ndu. He's my <laughs> favorite. I'm in love with that man. Yeah. Oh my god, I love Ndu. Yeah, Ndu, Ndu, aka TRP, and um. Last one but not least is uh Bong Bongza. Yeah, yeah. DJ Bongza too. Bongza's late actually. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, they're all called the one lie. So I, I usually just watch them just to get inspiration and all that stuff. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. Bongza usually uh, collabs with one other person all the time. Yeah, like he, a... he does uh collab with do always yeah do aka T R P so yeah. yeah. Okay, that's I always dope. follow them a lot. I, like I follow them around and all that stuff. So uh, you followed him around. This was what back in SA? Like no 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 no. Oh, okay. As in watch them. Okay. Like stalk their pages. Oh, of course, you know <laughs> you know how we do as producers. You like watch their stories and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, just to get some inspiration in it. So yeah. Hop into their lives and that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love that so much. So give us a little bit on your background because I know oh, you're okay. I know you're half Zimbabwean, half yeah. South African. Give us kind of how much time you spent in Zim, how much time you spent spent in South Africa. Okay, where? so yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah, I was born in SA, Johannesburg, yeah. and then um, at the age of like one, two, I went back to Zim. Where in SA were you born then? Uh, Johannesburg. Johann, you just mentioned that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Johannesburg, yeah. yeah. So I was born in Johannesburg, yeah. and then at the age of two, I went back to Zim. So that is where I grew up. Mm. So I spent like almost 16 years uh, in Zim because I went to school there, did mm. everything there, like. I even learned how to DJ and all stuff back in Zim. No way. Yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah, because that is where I, I actually began to fall in love with the music thing and all stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then after that, um, when I was 18, I went back to SA and then I started working. I started getting into music more. That is when I started doing productions and um, what else? Yeah, I think that's about it, honestly. So well, in Zim, what was the music genre? Uh, I used to listen to first. I used to listen to Kwaito a lot because obviously, uh, rest in peace to my uncle. Uh, my uncle used to listen to a lot of Kwaito, so mm -hmm. he, intro he actually introduced me to the Kwaito scene. Yeah, and then after that, um, it came to house music, deep house. Yeah, and then after that came to uh, commercial house. And then we went to, I don't know if anyone uh, listened to it, but slow jam, slow jam music. And then after that, we started listening to Ama Piano. And, so that's yeah. like R&B and stuff like that when you say slow jams. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> but that's it's, so actually, cool. it's actually like house, deep house music, but it's slowed down. <clears throat> okay. It's very, very slow, like slow, low, low, as in slower than Ama Piano. So wait, is that a genre, is that, are you just talking about slow jams in general? Or slow jams that you were hearing in Zimbabwe? No, no, no. It's, uh, I don't know if anyone knows about this genre, honestly, but yeah. it, it's called slow jams. It's like, um, there's this guy, was it Calvin, Calvin Fado? He's the one who discovered it, yeah. 
and there was a song that went very viral. It was like slow, but it, it was like deep house. You mm. get it? Yeah. Can you give me like a like sing it? <laughs> nah, nah, it I'm was sure. just a beat. Okay, cool. Yeah, it yeah. was just a beat. Oh, I've got to look yeah. into that. That sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to send the link to you. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah that would be dope. Yeah. So, so one yeah. thing I've noticed about the scene in the UK, I don't know if you've noticed, but the Zimbabweans are really pushing piano, you know, in the UK. Like, I've got, like we've got Mixo, we've got yeah. Rolls, got you, D-Ray is yeah, Zimbabwean yeah. as well. Like, how do you feel about that? What do you think? I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. But at the same time, I gotta give it to uh, everyone, the Nigerians too, mm. and the South Africans. Hey, don't course, say uh, that after Af Afcon. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, the war, the war is always there, you know. But yeah. it's all love at the end of it, isn't it? Right. So, I gotta give it to everyone, honestly. But yeah, I feel like Zimbabwe have been pushing more piano in in the UK scene more than a lot of people, honestly. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's yeah. that. So. And, um, Joe Berg, I just wanted to ask quickly, Joe Berg, so you lived in, obviously you were young, so I don't know how much you travelled within South Africa, but do you feel like Joe Berg is a, is a hub for, like, a, a piano and, like, international artists and, how, like, how people manoeuvre? Is it Cape? Is it, like, Pretoria? Like, what's, what's the vibes? I know each one's got their kind of different vibes, yeah. but how do you, like, where do you feel like the hub is? You know, like, London's really the hub for the whole of Europe. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. really check it, sorry to two our horn and whatnot, but London's the hub, in it. Where would you say which cities in SA would you say is the hub? Uh, I, I gotta give it to Johannesburg, I won't die. Yeah, because it's a vibe. Even though um, sometimes you gotta watch like <laughs> your surroundings, it, you, like every every city is like that. In it, there is bad and good, but I feel like Johannesburg is a vibe. If you wanna like find good sports to go to club. And listen to good music, of course. Uh, there's a place they called, um, it's actually called, oh, why do I keep forgetting this name? It's. It's not 012, is it? No, 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 no. It's a club everyone goes to. Um, what's the name? Nah, I will, I will tell you about it but when I remember it. But they uh, play, like, there are different clubs in it. They strictly play Deep House. Uh, at, at a certain time, and then they still like play I'm a piano only. Mm. There are clubs like that, you know. Mm. So I feel like that's missing too in the UK. I feel like people should just start introducing that, like what? find a club where you only play one genre. Yeah, but else. like yeah. I feel like in yeah. in in UK we were actually speaking about this with another promoter. Yeah, we don't get that mix and blend of like Afro house, com, and I'm a piano in a night. Our events are like you throw it on, it's piano the whole night. Yeah, uh, like a lot of people do that in the UK scene, and I, I feel like that's a a mistake. I don't know how everyone will take it though. I feel like that's a mistake because. Uh, if you mix different cultures, yeah, mm -hmm. yes, I understand. People love it. At the same time, I'm like, okay, where is the originality in that? You get it? In what? In just playing I'm in a just, piano? Yeah, in just, yeah. I feel like people should just start learning to, like, uh, if you're playing I'm a piano, just play I'm a piano, 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 you get it, yeah? Yeah. And then if you're playing, like, Afrobeats, just stick with the culture, like, play Afrobeats throughout. And if people are not vibing with that, yeah, they will maybe exit the club and go to another club where mm. they play. I'm a piano get it. Like, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like that is missing. Because in the essay, in essay, there are different clubs where they play Deep House. That club is strictly for Deep House. You don't hear any other music. Right. And there is a club where they play I'm a piano. You don't hear other, any other music. So what you're saying is, in the events in the UK, you're hearing too much mixed genres. Yeah, and another thing, yeah, um... Especially when it comes to bookings, mm. yeah. Find that you get booked here yeah, and you don't even play uh, Afrobeats. <sighs> that is why I'm talking about like you yeah. don't even play Afrobeats. Yeah. Now you're forced to play Afrobeats just because of the crowd. The crowd, yeah. You get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it will feel like ah, I don't know how to DJ or what. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> I actually do know how to DJ. I'm actually not. Good at the music that, that I'm... you want me to play. Exactly. Ah, that if is I what tell I'm you a story, yeah. like there's one promoter, yeah, he, I yeah. used to work with him quite a lot, our relationship severed. But every time I'll go to a gig, like, you know, you know I'm a, I'm a piano DJ, you know, I, like I've 
point that out frivolously, you know, and he'd be like, just just play some Afrobeats, just play some Bashment, just a little exactly. bit, a little bit. And I'm yeah. just like, guy, and like, another thing, you can be telling DJs what to do, right? Because a DJ knows what he's doing or what she's doing, you know. So and what they're capable of too, right? Exactly. Mm. So you can be telling DJs, ah, you should play this, you should play that. Well, it's, that is not exactly your style, that is not exactly your taste, you get it? So, a lot of promoters do that mistake, I feel like that that alone needs to be corrected. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. I love that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now, I understand, I understand what you're saying, because I think a lot of us go through that. Yeah. Yeah, in so, the UK. Yeah, it's, it, it's all, it, at the end, it all goes to the same thing that I was saying, like, people got to stick with their culture, like, make sure that they solidify it like if you're playing afrobeats just know that okay this club is meant for afrobeats, afrobeats yeah only if you're playing deep house this club is meant for deep, deep house. house yeah interesting that, yeah that should be introduced in the uk i feel like that that is what is needed in the uk that's interesting because what yeah. i've started doing now is incorporating a lot of acapellas because i'll go to like um especially after my interview with tebza he really dropped some gems he was like listen you've got to lift, listen to different genres for inspirations and whatnot and whatnot and i heard him so what i started doing was like taking a lot of acapellas uh, you know especially from like the r&b vibes and some even from the afrobeats and dropping them on the piano track yeah, yeah, yeah. how do you feel about that is that I actually again? i actually did that too i i do that but it's actually good because it, it, it won't sound like you're playing Afrobeats. It, it cool. sounds like a mashup. It's like a DJ thing. Of course, you want to entertain people and with the acapellas and all that stuff. You get mm -hmm. it. So mm -hmm. I feel like it's it's all right. It's cool with me. I'm as long as the beat is sounding like piano and then right. That's a mashup. Yeah, it's a DJing thing. Yeah, that's okay. cool. Dope. So, <laughs> who were the artists that you got most of your inspirations from? Because, as you've mentioned, you mm. really started DJing and learning about music in Zimbabwe. Where yeah. in Zimbabwe, actually? Which city? Uh, Bulawayo. Wo? Yeah, yeah, Bulawayo. Bulawayo. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's interesting. There's a lot of whales. Is it? Wasn't Rose from Bulawayo? Bulawayo. Yeah. Is, yeah. That, is that a place? Bulawayo. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Rose was from. So yours is Bulawayo. That's the same Bulawayo. They, you know, a lot of people mix it up. It's it's Bulawayo. Oh, so it's not Bulawayo. Yeah, 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 a lot of people say Bulawayo. Ah. You say, so in in my in our language in Dewele, it's Bulawayo. Mm. Yeah, because the B doesn't have an H to make it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, the B doesn't have an H. So if you wanna say Bulawayo, you have to include an H of H. which. The actual spelling doesn't have an H. Okay. It's just B U. So it's Bulawayo. So that's why Buddhism is Buddhism. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's Buddhism. That's why it's Buddhism. Okay. It's not Buddhism. Yeah. That's bad. We're learning. Thank yeah. you. So who were your inspos? Like you've mentioned um, the, the guy that did the slow jams. What was his name again? Uh, Calvin Fallow. Calvin yeah. Fallow. I think, I'm not mistaken, is it? Nah, yeah, it's Calvin Fallow, yeah. Yeah. And who were your other, like, other inspirations in this thing that you would say you really yeah. grabbed yeah. things from? I've got a lot of inspirations I want, like, depends on the genre. So, mm. back in the days, like, going back, 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 I used to listen to, um, about my Wuda, Fat Cook. I used to listen to Uhuru. I used to listen to Mosquito. Them, them lot are... They inspired me a lot. I used to listen um, to Professor, because he's a vocalist too. I used mm -hmm. to love his vocals, innit? And uh, Heavy K, I won't forget. That that guy has been giving us gems for, for life. Mm. <laughs> now nah, he's called the guy, I gave it to him. For us that don't know, what genre does Heavy K do? Um, he, he does commercial house, and it's got a little bit of like um, Afro tech in it. Love that. Yeah. So that is that is his actual sound and which is cool. I love his sound, the one that is different from any other producers. Yeah. And my other inspirations from like I mentioned the house and um there's deep house like the Capo, um yeah. Afro Brothers and uh Cairo. Mm -hmm. Black coffee. Of course. Yeah, yeah of yeah, course. Yeah. He's the king. Top guy. He's the king of everything. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. And what? who else? Who else? Um, 
black motion. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of black motion. Even though they split, split. Uh, of of course, everyone's got their different paths. Yeah, yeah, but they still inspire me a lot. Yeah, and when it comes to Ama piano, of course, uh, Gabs are DJ Maporesa. Do I already mention them? Yeah, ah, you yeah. do, man. You do not understand, <laughs> dude. Just is a man after my own heart. I mean, if you see this, <laughs> please come to the UK. Nah, come and see music, me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his music is cool. Different. Like, it's different. different. Yeah, yeah he knows how to go like soft, and he knows how to go heavy. How's, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, I really love that about him. Okay, so let's start with your producing journey. Then, when did that start? Because okay, the timeline is born in SA, gone to Zimbabwe come back to USA and yeah. then come to the UK and started music or did it start from Joburg? Uh, so I grew up in Zim, yeah, so um, I used to have friends who, who, who do music because uh, I, won't, I won't lie, I used to do hip hop. I, I used to want to be a rapper. But... Why, are we all, why, are we, why are we all wanting to be rappers? Guys! <laughs> <laughs> I used to want we to be a rapper, to be yeah. rappers. That's because dope. of course, um, back in the days, uh, hip hop used to pop. I want like yeah, hip hop still top. pops, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. You, you you know what I mean. But because piano is a little bit here and hip hop is a little bit here nowadays, yeah. isn't it? But yeah, of yeah. course, I still res I still have a lot of respect for hip hop and yeah. R and B and all, all them genres because they took us from those little age to so now. Up here. Yeah, up here. So yeah, I used to, to want to be a rapper. And then <laughs> it just wasn't in me. The lyrics were, <laughs> were not just there for me. I used to be lazy to write and all mm. stuff. I was like, you know what, let me try something else. Um, I started DJing using my laptop only. I used to mm. DJ with a laptop only, no decks, no anything. And How was that? Yeah, and them laptops, you know, they would Big, yeah, big laptops, fat. big fat <laughs> laptops. <laughs> but I used to be cold because um, yeah. I used to do a lot of like house mixing and all stuff. We used to go to ev just like small events. And then from there, um, I went to this one guy. He's actually Shona, one guy studio. Um, so my guy, my guy used to record there. That's when I started uh, to want to learn FL studio. I, what I, year was it, this? Ah, uh, that was 2010. Mm. Yeah, that was 2010. I think so you so. would have been how old? I was, uh, how old I was? I was like 12. Whoa. Yeah, I was like 12, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah I was 12. 2010, yeah, mm. I was 12 by then. And then, um, so I used to see this guy doing productions and all that stuff. I, I was like, okay, what are you using there? What's the... Why is it that you're using to make beats? I just became interested into it. I was like, yo, bro, can you send me whatever software was, was yeah. that? He said, ah, just go and search for FL Studio and download it. Mm. And then I downloaded a, a demo. You know how a demo FL Studio comes. You just make a beat. It, you just make beats, yeah? And it won't let, allow you to save anything. Yeah. I used to have a hard time, but I, I still managed my way to it, to learn. And then after that, I started, um, I started knowing, watching YouTube videos, knowing ah, there are packs for FL Studio. That is where I, I grew up with the um, production thing. And then, uh, yeah, and then after that, after that, what happened is my guy used to come to mine and we used to do those uh, little mics. We used to actually have, uh, you see those earphones, <laughs> the long wi wired one. We used to break them apart, take that little mic thing <laughs> and make our own mics just to try and record like vocals and then try to master them. It actually came out perfect, I won't lie. <laughs> That's mad, look at the creativity. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. So that is when I started learning everything about the music production and all stuff. Yeah. Oh that my was gosh. back in the days, like 2010 up to 2016. So this is you, man, at like 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, you're breaking because I, up. I was invested yeah. too in computers a lot. So I, I used to try to craft my own things with my own hands. 
Man just said, to, by any uh, means necessary. Because yeah. <laughs> we never had money to afford anything there. By fire, by but, force. Yeah, I by think, fire, I think by force, we used to make it work. That's a good thing because I feel yeah. like um, it's a good thing that you, you lack because that makes you use resources, like use your mind, in it, to make yeah. resources that you wouldn't necessarily have. I actually think in, in countries where people are more fortunate, you get lazy because it's like, do you get what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas people who don't have much, they, they figure out a way. Do you get what I mean? They just make it work. Yeah, That's amazing, fun. bro. That's actually fantastic. So yeah. then, wait, so when you came from Zim, did you come straight? You didn't come straight to the UK. You went back to SA. When I came from Zim, uh, no, I, I went back to SA, yeah? Yeah. And then um, that is where everything just started going up a little bit because obviously I was working. I started to manage to afford um, things like mics, mm. studio. Yeah. So I brought a set of speakers and... I went and brought um, a sound card and a mic, and then that is when I started doing a better quality <laughs> songs, <laughs> better quality songs than I used to do back in the days. And yeah. I used to, yeah, I used to download packs. There are these websites. I, I won't even. Ah, don't hold it, because <laughs> I thought we'll find a way to shut that down. <laughs> there are these websites where we used to uh, download packs and. FS Studio, free FS Studio. So that's where everything just escalated to going up all the way to the production side of what made me who I am today. Yeah, I got a problem with you and I picked it before. Yeah, I told you. I yeah. can't find anything. <laughs> anything maybe and it's really annoying because you're telling me about this journey now i want to hear the tracks with the broken yeah. mic you know what i mean yeah. like, and, and no. we can't, like so how am i supposed to gauge the journey every time no. that, that, that's I, still, I still i still have some of the songs yeah but they are um i saved them on my old hard drive because i always leave it behind i don't yeah. i don't want to lose it because it's got a lot of memories there right yeah, so I why can't we them, join but, in on the memories yeah, or is it just what i'm you? planning now nah, what i'm planning to do with them is just to um, remake the war songs because obviously I'm, I feel like I'm good right now at production and all stuff. I want to remake the war songs just for the sake of the memories back in the mm. days, yeah, and make them to this new style, whatever it is today, yeah, and yeah. just drop them. Yeah. Amazing. I, I like I like dropping songs just because of um, I feel like my mastering is not at a level of where I want it to be, because uh, if I listen to other people's music yeah, and then I, I go back and listen to my music, I feel like there's something lacking. And then I'm like, okay, just keep it for now. Try to improve your sound and then you can drop it. I don't like just pro dropping my s songs like that because I feel like they are imperfect sometimes. What, what's that saying? Comparison is the thief of joy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We'll keep it. Nah, we'll I always try there. to perfect my whatever I do. I always try to perfect it. On, honestly, because I don't like like dropping stuff. And after some time, I, I feel like ah, I should have done that. Yeah, you know, I know exactly what yeah, you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like doing that. Yeah, yeah I got some mixes like on YouTube that, yeah. right now. If I watch them back, I'm, I can scream. Ah, they, yeah, but they always say uh, you learn from your mistakes. Yeah, but yeah, now I have so. to watch that mistake time and time again. I'm tired. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm tired. I always try to make it perfect, whatever yeah. you do. I want that, yeah. Facts. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then, finishing it, what, when did you come to the UK? Was that directly from Joburg to UK? Or, no, yeah. um, so uh, I came uh, to UK, was it 2021? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I came straight from Johannesburg to, to the UK. Yeah. And you landed where? Uh, was it Birmingham? Yeah, it was Birmingham. Yeah. Mm. And that's why you No, 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 it wasn't Birmingham. It was, was it Liverpool? I don't even remember. Liverpool's a ghetto. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's not course, a ghetto. Mom, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> my, mom, yeah. my mom came in. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Liverpool. Yeah. I don't even remember. Oh, why did I say that? I didn't mean the ghetto. <laughs> Liverpool's interesting. It's interesting. <laughs> the accent yeah, is definitely mom, interesting. Yeah, my mom, my mom came and got me from there. And then we made our way to uh, Birmingham. Okay. My new home. Uh, <laughs> and how you find in Birmingham? <laughs> Ah, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Because Tempo yeah. had a lot to say about the promoters down there. Care to add? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that on the, inter on the interview. Um, all it is with the promoters is 
I don't know, the Zim promoters especially, yeah? I feel like um, they are more into uh, Afrobeats a lot. And another thing is they don't usually afford... I, I don't think they can afford, like, uh, booking artists <laughs> from back at home bring all, them all the way to the UK and paying funding for everything them. and funding yeah. them like that. So why would you do that to man? I don't exactly, get it. because yeah. they're trying to get uh, all the audience. Like, oh, interesting. You get it. And another thing that I read us with the promoters is, um, Zim promoters especially, is they like uh, getting their stuff for free mm. a lot. They don't, yeah, they don't usually want to pay for anything. Trust me, Nigerians are in that chat too, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the amount of Nigerian promoters that have finished me, man. Nah, man, nah, bro. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> I'm fully over yeah, it. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think Zim promoters just like free stuff and then at yeah. the end of the day, it's not all about being, getting everything for free. Yeah. It's work. It's work for me. It's work, it's like, it's work for everyone here. You know, yeah. everyone has got to get paid at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. No, I feel that 100%. So then, okay, boom. Here, 2020, uh, 2021, you reached yeah. Bram. Then what did you do? Oh, yeah, interesting. <laughs> so I came here, yeah. Um, obviously, there's Instagram. I went to my Instagram and I said, okay, where do I start? Because obviously, I'm new to the place. I don't know anyone. Yet. Where do I start? I'm like, uh, I don't have a laptop, I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look for a studio, anyone who does music, yeah? I just went through my Instagram, I saw, um, Diri is the actual first person I saw. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, she does music. Okay, let me try and DM her. I DM'd her, yo, I make music, I'm a producer, this and that. You know, you know how it is when you're trying to introduce yourself to people. And then um, it, took, it took a little bit while until she, I think it took like um, a day, two days for her to respond. And then she finally responded like, yo, you good? Ah, uh, yeah, we got a link up. I do music too. Well, I was like, yeah, that's cool. That is how uh, I, I created the relationship with Terry because she was actually a cool person. And then um, I'm... I got my laptop, like my mom brought me a laptop, yeah? And then I got a... Uh, Shout out to mommy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got uh, some head, headphones, just basic headphones. So I started doing producing. I started doing production, actually. And then I posted a song, so because uh, Daria had introduced Emma, but I never met Emma back, back there. Oh, shout out yeah, to Emma the DJ. To yeah. And um, I started doing production, production, yeah? And then I had a song that I uploaded on YouTube, but I took it down. Uh, Navy! <laughs> I took it off YouTube um, just because of, I feel like it didn't sound proper, ah, but of course... No, no, yeah. no, no, no. I'm going to shout, I'm going to scream, yeah. right? So, yeah, I, 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 I uploaded a song on YouTube, yeah? And uh, Emma came across the song. Mm. Before yeah. you deleted it. Yeah, yeah, you see, had you deleted it, it before yeah, yeah. she came across it, what would have happened now, my guy? What are you doing? <laughs> so, uh, I guess Emma reposted this song on Instagram, yeah? And then, uh, that is when uh, Frank, Frank Dasentala and mm -hmm. Ryder mm -hmm. came across the song too. They were like, ooh, who's this? Yeah. yeah. And Emma, of course, just connected them with me. And then that is how I met... Um, Frank and Ryder. Okay. And then from there, we just started working. Because uh, I remember the first day, the first day they were like, brah, um, let's book a studio session. And they had uh, a couple of people there. We went and did our first song was, um, what's that song? Oh my God, I've got a lot of projects. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember. <laughs> yeah. What's that song This called? is what happens when you don't post them and you delete them, you forget. <laughs> nah, but I still have life. the project files though. Mm. Yeah, we made our first song, yeah? And then um, the second, was it the second time we made, they were like, ah, bro, we want you to come to ours in Hartford. Mm. I was like, yeah, man, I'm down. But obviously, you know, I, I stayed with my mom and I never knew anyone. So they had to come and introduce 
themselves to my mom okay. so that everything could go the smooth. Mesh, yeah. yeah. So from there, uh, the relationship just went so good. So it's been good ever since day one with them. I appreciate, love my brothers. <laughs> I appreciate them a lot because um, if it wasn't for them, I don't think I would maybe have made it this far. Mm. Yeah. So are they like your managers then, would you say? They are like, they are like family. Okay, got not, you. Not really managers. They are like family. They are my brothers. Like, I work with them a lot. Mm, yeah. I love that so yeah, much. Because yeah. they've taken me to places that I've never been before. I, I even that. went to Amherst. Oh. <laughs> For my first, first time, first time going to Amherst. How I was, was that? Impressed. How did you find was it? It was a blast. I won't lie. It was so perfect. Shout Everything out to Amherst. Shout yeah. out to Amherst. Big, big shout. Yeah, I'm still yet to go. It's really hard for me because it's like a whole day thing. It's far. I'm a yeah. mum. So finding the childcare during the day and uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. I went it's to Amherst, piano people. Um, yeah. I went to a lot of uh, raves. And um, what's that Jamaican thing that you call? Carnival. Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, my bad. <laughs> no, no hate for Jamaicans. I, 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 my, my friends just forget. Yeah. Easily forget. Yeah, but yeah, I went to Carnival. Ah, that was a blast too. Did you go to the piano? Was the piano people stage yeah, there already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I went yeah, to yeah, the yeah. piano people stage. Ah. Sounded. Who was there? Uh, who did that? Was it Vinny? Was Vinny on the mic? Yeah, yeah. Andrew Vinny. I saw uh, Devin Gogo. Yeah, else? yeah, yeah. Sharisi was on there as well, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, shout out to Sharisi. She's been playing Buddhism too. Yeah, no, she's yeah. banging it. Yeah. yeah, she's been banging it a lot. And shout out to Moose too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Moose, she's the yeah. one who started the world trends. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to shout Moody out to Moose. Yeah. Moody. I love that so much. So let's yeah. talk about Bediza then. Like, how did that come about? Because I asked uh, D-Ray, yeah. she, she mentioned your name and Dala. Yeah. So, <laughs> hi guys, what happened? Ah, so when I hear a funny story. <laughs> Let me hear it. Okay, so um, DJ Lucia, I know DJ Lucia from back in SA. Actually, I met DJ Lucia through uh, Wele. So I used to work a lot with Wele, um, Wele SA. He's a producer back in uh, SA, yeah? I started working with him 2018. We made music. We made a lot of music, but obviously we never released it. <laughs> of which I'm not going to comment anymore because I'm tired. <laughs> of which, nah, it's, it's still about to come, though. Soon, yeah. soon, soon. Okay. Yeah, so um, I made uh, DJ Lucia through Wale, and then once I got here, DJ Lucia DM'd me. He was like, yo, bro. I saw you with this girl um, on Instagram. I heard her vocals. She's called. I want us to do a song with her. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm down in it. So he just sent it to me. And then I remember we, we were at Pirate Studios, yeah? And then uh, obviously the whole Buddhism concept was just crafted down, like, OK, this song is going to go like this, go like this, yeah? And then um, after that, I was like, yo, Ryder, I gotta go to the toilet. Can you please record Dere? Ryder is the actual person who recorded Dere. Mad. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Shout out to Ryder too. <laughs> Mad. I was like, yo, bro, I gotta go to the toilet. Yeah? Can you please record Dere? I, I just went to the toilet. When I came back, I just hit fire. Pizza. Ah! <laughs> 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 I was like, ooh, oh, yeah. shit, that goes hard. But, yeah. Uh, she actually recorded a verse too, but it didn't go through like the mm. whole process because the Bodiza part was the interesting part of the whole song. Mm. So um, I took the whole project file, I sent it back uh, to DJ Lucia. He took it to uh, JFS Music, shout out to them. They uh, mastered the vocals, mastered the whole beat, I think so. I never asked. and. I don't, I don't know about uh, the TA, TA music guys, but I think they did uh, put some production in it too. And then that is when uh, DJ Harvey came in too, and that was a whole collaboration. And then the song just went boom. Viral. Viral, Mad. yeah. Is that your biggest tune then? Obviously it has to be, because everything else you've yeah. taken down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like my biggest tune out. Of course. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. And what made you... So it was Lucia that heard D Ray's voice yeah, and yeah, said, yeah, We yeah. want her. Yeah, you obviously yeah, yeah. went in the studio, put that together, laid it down. He laid it down. Mazza. Yeah. So I've listened to 
your music like I, we were playing a little bit earlier yeah. and i'm hearing that using male and female vocals is kind of your thing you add that in and i yeah. love how you, you add it in because it's not too much what i hate is when i hear too much lyrics on top of a yeah, beat yeah because yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm always telling people i mean kanye west said it first but it's like the voice is an instrument and then you've got a whole lot of instruments in piano overloading another oh, instrument it's, yeah, 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 it's too much yeah, yeah so i love much. the way you you put things together when you hear a vocalist what makes you think like how how does the, that creative process come about do you have the beat first yeah. and then you start the vocalist on or do you hear the vocalist and think ah i can put these sounds together and bam 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 how does that yeah, creative it, process it depends come it depends um obviously if you've got something like let's say you excuse me mm -hmm. no problem let's say you got a song uh already like you got lyrics written and you know how you wanna flow on the beat like yeah, you can just sing it to me and then I, I just create the beat by the side. Or I can just record you through the whole thing without a beat here. Yeah? And then I just create the beat under. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you do? Yeah. <laughs> I can do that, yeah. Or I can just make a beat and then we just try and find something to sing on top of the beat. It just depends how you want to go about it. Hold on a second. So when you do this thing where you get the vocals yeah. and then and then you create the beat underneath, yeah, yeah, yeah. are, I is, do are that. there extras that you have to do? Maybe re-record the vocals, or do you actually make the beat sit with the vocals? No, nah, I actually make the beat sit with the vocals. Like, sorry, I'm not a producer, so this is, sounds like magic <laughs> to me. <laughs> do you get it? <laughs> like, I know, I know. A lot of people get surprised, but. Uh, I know, I, I think a lot of producers do that too. No, sometimes. no. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> they don't. They can't. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, if you've got like something, like let's say an old song, for example, um, let's say you got No Maganja, We Daliwa. Mm. You see that song by, uh, who was it? Was it Brenda Fassi? Yeah. Why are you asking me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm still thinking, yeah. Yeah, it was Brenda Fassi. Let's say you want to record that song and you just go and lay the vocals down. Mm -hmm. I can make a beat under, like a, I'm a piano beat under that, under the vocals. So you just got have the metronome in the background. Yeah. And then they work with that. Crazy That's Navy. It. Yeah. Wow, I love that. Yeah. Okay, so I want to talk about the Ice Spice revisit because I like that. Yeah, oh. I, I like that. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's very much my, my vibe. Yeah. I mean, a lot of your production is very much my vibe. Yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much my vibe. You see Quantum? <laughs> That's my babes. <laughs> when I hit Quantum, it's just something else happens to my yeah, soul. So, yeah, yeah, when I heard that, I said, you, that sounds very, very it's, good. It's yeah. And I like yeah. the way you play around with the vocals and, yeah. and you, you make it's like there's that very housey aspect, with, which I'm not so surprised when you told me okay house is yeah. where you kind of started your thing with yeah. your unks, unks and stuff like that because i heard that in the in the ice spice revisit talk me through that what, what happened what was in your brain how what inspired ah. you was it a one take was yeah. it a multiple take what was it i was actually on tiktok yeah and then um i came across uh this tiktok this guy just doing funny funny things like listening to ice spice music <laughs> it, <laughs> that that what, what does that song say again it, it says um what what fudge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think you don't? <laughs> yeah, you ain't even a fart. Yeah. Even a fart. <laughs> but I was like, <laughs> I was like ooh, yeah. okay. Uh, yeah. Already, I had a beat. I was like, ooh, ooh that yeah. goes hard. Let me actually try and sample this here. Yeah? I was like, okay, let me go and listen to the actual song first yeah. before I I make the beat. And then I hit the first part. The first part didn't have anything on it. It was, it was just the keys. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I can take this and cut it and just put it there and play with the fat. Yeah, <laughs> fart, play fart, with the fat, fart, fart. fart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I just laid it all down, yeah? And it was at night, actually, because uh, Dilly wanted to, I was at Dilly, Dilly, yeah. Dilly wanted to go to sleep. And then I was like, you know, I'm just going to use my headphones. So... I just laid everything down, yeah, and then I started making a beat under it. Yeah. And then um, after that, after that, I started check the whole beat. I won't lie, um, Super, he's a, a an engineer. Yeah. I I don't think I heard him come in, but I heard him speak. Yeah. <laughs> I was gassed <laughs> on my headphones. So I like, yeah. <laughs> I think he heard me. 
And then in the morning, I was like, yo, bro, what were you doing? I was like, bro, I made a mad tune. You gotta hear this. I played him the tune. He was like, yo, bro, yeah. this tune is hard. Yeah, so that is how I came up about with the Aspice remix. Yeah. I love that so much. <laughs> that was funny still. <laughs> yeah, no, when I that heard it, yeah, because yeah. it, it's got a fun element to it. Yeah. It's, it's and nice. I didn't, yeah, I didn't want to um, run away from the actual, actual sound because what do they call it? Uh, there's a specific name for the genre. The what, like the... Aspice, Aspice. Drill, AOA, yeah. what? Is it... Is it country, country music? What, whatever they call it. What, what is it? Oh, <laughs> no, nah, it's not country. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> we don't know about that, don't those guys. That. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, there is an actually name for the genre. That she spits on. Yeah, well, we'll yeah, figure yeah. that out. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. We're not well versed in anything but piano <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> so who are you working with now then? Who are like your main people? Because I know yeah. you raise your person, Thala, Ryder. Ryder. Yeah. yeah. Um, I met up with uh, Anora and Lelo. Yeah, those are the new people that I'm working with. And I've worked with Keso. Oh, amazing. Yeah, I I've, love her. Shout out to Keso. Shout out to Keso. Yeah, she's called. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've worked with... Um, what else have I worked with? Uh, wow. I worked with a lot of people, that's funny, but why am I forgetting the names still? <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Have yeah. you ever sat down with any UK producers and kind of just chopped it up? Mm, not really. Yeah, I've worked with J Music though. Mm, Jay's, yeah, Jay's a vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Jay's, Jay's a vibe. Yeah, he's, he's not based in the UK, but I've, I've managed to um, work with him through... Uh, shout out to Dominic, DJ Pyro. He's the one who connected me with... Uh, J music and I worked with uh Pamsy. Pamsy is not a producer though. Yeah. Okay. But shout out to him, he's a DJ, he knows how to uh connect people and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, Pams, yeah. yeah. No, for sure. Shout out to yeah, Pams. Is that rotation Pams? Pams? Yeah, yeah, rotation yeah. events, yeah. Okay, and that's vibes. Yeah. What else? What else? Um what, what's his name again? I'm trying to What song did he do? We made now nah, we'll talk about we we'll talk about we we'll talk about when I remember properly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. That's vibes. Yeah. Oh, I love that so much. Okay. Cool. So, Tala Ryder, do you collaborate with them as well? Because I know Tala's a um, vocalist. Shout yeah, out to Tala. Shout out to Tala. Yeah. Um. So Tala is a vocalist, but like, uh, we're we're like a group. Yeah. Mm. So. Whatever. What does Ryder do? Is he a producer? Yeah, engineer? Ryder is a producer. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So what we do is um. Whenever we make music, yeah, it's either a uh, rider right, right, jump, jumps on it because sometimes we do record, I do record some vocals or rider right, does record some vocals. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And wh whatever song we do, yeah, we just put, put our names like on Tyler right, Ryder and it's not like featuring or anything. It's, it's just us only. Yeah. I, I love that so much. You know, this is what piano is about. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. I love that so much. Yeah. I've seen you working with Show Love as well. Shout out to Show Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's called. He's called and Vuyo too. Shout out to Vuyo. Shout Vuyo. Out to Vuyo. Oh yeah, Vuyo RSA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's lit. Called. He's lit. Yeah, he's yeah called. Show Love sent me some stuff. I, I think he's quite talented. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that three step is it? Yeah, three I think step. it was like yeah, yeah. He's quite talented. I love that so much. Okay, yeah. cool. Drop me your dream collabs. My dream collabs. Um, obviously, you know, Gubs are this small. Yes. <laughs> Gubs yeah. are this small. But uh, you know what's funny is uh, he actually did me one time, yeah, and I was supposed to um, send him a project. Don't tell me you didn't send it. No, no, I did send it, yeah, but he never got back to me. Um, I guess he, he became busy because he was in the UK, mm -hmm. yeah. And then I sent him, he, he had like a gig going on. I sent him the project. I guess maybe he forgot or something. Yeah. And then he never um, got back to me. But he did DM me. And okay. um, another collab that I want to do is uh, DJ Maporisa and XRP. Yeah. Um, if possible, cover Momo, mm. of which it's going to be possible. Mm -hmm. I know. I'll find my way. And yeah. um, what else? Daliwonga. Oh, yes. Yeah, Dalunga and, and Stana, young Stana. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. no, I love Those that so much. Those are my dream collabs, yeah. I would say, yeah, just, just like being devil's advocate. I don't, it's not called being devil's advocate, but I would say check out Lanz Fananka. 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 Lanz Fananka. Laz Fananka. Laz. Yeah, yeah, because I heard his tunes and listening to your kind of... Yeah. I think you lot will sit nicely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gosh, That's just a yeah. suggestion. Yeah. I, I think you guys you guys sure. will sit down, sit nicely. I love yeah. that guy's music. Another guy's in Dibbo. Dibbo, I love him so much. And Dibbo yeah. Dibs, check him out. I think he's like up next. And again, yeah, okay. judging from how you, you man do your tunes, that will sit nice. But the, the names you've mentioned in terms of dream collabs, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. You did mention <laughs> Doodum. Doom's my baby. So I feel like. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, ah, why? <laughs> why did they do that? Yeah. You know what? You know what? I can scrap all of them and put it two on top. <laughs> do number so one for nah, me in always in my life. <laughs> yeah, okay, two is cool. Cold. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So um, I just want to ask kind of like, because you've come to the UK, obviously you've mentioned like having to reach out to people because it was, you know, you're new, you're in a space yeah. where... You know, you, yeah, that like you don't know anybody and you don't know how stuff manoeuvres. But obviously, thank God you've been blessed with people like your brothers, you say, yeah, yeah, that yeah. Have, have blessed you in the journey and stuff like that. For anyone who's kind of like up and coming, I always ask this like in the scene, whether they're in SA or they're in the UK, because I think your story is inspiring the way you reached out to D-Ray and Emma and everything yeah. connected. I don't think that would have happened had you not taken that initiative, that drive, like that hustle, yeah. What advice would you give to up and coming artists? Yeah, or anyone who's kind of inspired by your story, what's the one piece of advice you'll give them? Like, that's like if you don't give them any other piece of advice, what's the yeah. one piece of advice you give them? I mean, you gotta stay humble, always, like, mm -hmm. always be humble, always reach out to people, you know, like, make sure that um, you try and do your best, whatever work you, you do, whatever production you do, just put, put your all onto it, make sure that it's your best work. And always challenge yourself. Don't don't compete with anyone. Just challenge yourself a lot. Like put challenges on yourself. Like, okay, I made this better tune. I can do more better than mm. this better tune. You get it? Yeah. Yeah, I mess with that a lot. And I'll, yeah. I'd also like to add, don't delete the stuff afterwards. After you've worked so hard to to make it better <laughs> nah. and better. Yeah. yeah. Don't go yeah. on then and it's delete. Always it. better than better. <laughs> No, because now I can't track your journey, Navy. Yeah. That's annoying. Nah, nah. I, I, I will just, I will just put put some songs out. Yeah, I will just put some songs out. Probably like this year. Actually, we've got an EP coming with um, Dere. Mm -hmm. I've got an EP coming with Anora. I've got an EP coming with um, Dada and Ryder. Mm -hmm. I've got my own EP coming, which people don't know about. Okay. They do know about now. Exclusives, <laughs> exclusives. Yeah, exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm looking forward to working with a lot of people too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that sounds like a vibe. When is the, like, when, when, what's the timeline for the EPs? Like, when's the one with D-Ray coming out? Um, we were actually planning um, dropping it this month, but this obviously, is February. Uh, obviously, like, time moves fast. So, mm. I feel like we're just gonna move it to um, next month. March. Yeah. Okay. In the beginning, though. Yeah. Definitely. And um, with the Rider and Tala EP, I feel like um, we will drop it next month too. So that will be two EPs for, for month. That's serious. Yeah. For yeah, that month. That's work rate. Yeah. Love that so much. Definitely. And you've yeah. also got schedule sessions coming up. You're playing, aren't you? Yeah, I'm playing there. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be playing some. Man, from from what I've heard, <laughs> <laughs> from what I heard, yeah, people are gonna hate you. Yeah, shout out <laughs> to Selector, hate though. You. Shout out to Selector. Yeah, he's yeah. been plugging me a lot with um them events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Now nah, they're gonna hate yeah, you he's after been, they hear that. Supporting set. me and um Dominic too. He's been supporting me a lot. Dominic, what's his other name? Dominic. Uh, DJ Pyro. Pyro. Yeah. yeah, amazing. DJ Pyro. They've been supporting me a lot with the um events and gigs. Oh, that's yeah. so nice. And oh my god, I almost forgot DJ Park. <laughs> Shout out to him too. Yeah. He's been supporting me too a lot. Yeah, yeah. So you've been getting a lot of support? Yeah, I do. I do I won't lie. I've been getting some support for sure. But obviously I try to reach out to some people, obviously. Um 
I guess they don't see it or they just... Because you take it down. Don't, yeah, you yeah, take yeah, it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you take it down. That's why they don't see it. What are they going to yeah. go look at? Do you know I went but, to look yeah. on Spotify to look for this guy's EP? He took it down. One day it was there, next day it was gone. How? What was I supposed to do now? Nah, Can you nah. blame them? I'm going yeah, to bring it back though soon though. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to bring it back Is it going to stay there though? Maybe. Yeah, it's going to okay, definitely stay this time, yeah. It's yeah, do you know what? I'm gonna DM you every time if I see something that's other. You take it. I'm gonna DM you. I'm gonna be so angry, my guy. I'm gonna get on to you because yeah, I've had enough of that. That's that's long. Nah, nah, nah. I think I you're very talented. I think you should keep your stuff up. Ah, I think thank you. Thank you should you. allow us to follow your journey. Let us in a little bit. That would yeah, be nice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much, Navy. It's been a pleasure. You've dropped some ah, gems. Thank when you. When are you coming back? Ah, uh, soon. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be back soon. Yeah. Hopefully we can get a mix from you sometime soon as well. Yeah, yeah definitely. That would be amazing. Yeah, okay, wishing cool. you the best. This is Books Up Brixton Mix. Been DJ Gega and Black Navy. Danko. Yeah, yeah. don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. <laughs> 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 yeah.